Alright. Alright, it's cool. This is part two of my video. Okay, so. So basically, uh, Pizza Love, Everybody Calls You Raw. I'm talking about Lilith. And I'm talking about Jazabelle, but they're both the same. So, Lilith and Jazabelle. But mainly, this is particularly talking about Jazabelle. And and the whole spirit of what she brings uh, to you. Now, this is part of the Divine Feminine, and most women will be seen with the Jasper Spirit. Now, if you are held to Jasper Spirit, like I said, that does not mean you're possessing anything. No, it does not mean you're a bad person. It just part of what your lower chakras, your all these things are built within you. And you have to discover yourself within that whole lesson that she's trying to represent. And you can feel this you feel this energy within yourself a lot of times. And you just don't know it. It's just nothing but your lower nature. And when you're digging when you're uh, digging in within yourself and Jasper represents not being humble, seeking out others who's weaker than you and doing harm to others that type of thing and, and or just or just the greed inside of you being hateful being spiteful to others the whole thing people equate that to Jasper, and then they make Jasper look bad but there's no such thing as evil because without evil you cannot live and once you live you then can gain light so you must have both energies most help you must have you must have both sides to learn and to become better so embrace Jasper if you have something within yourself you're trying to fix and correct and all she represents is your lower uh, intentions once and then you just trying to raise yourself up that's all that's all. So you gotta embrace her. And what the this is a spiritual talk, not something to trying to place upon someone who's a color or a particular person. I'm not talking about how the Bible wrote it and place it upon someone who's white or you know or whatnot. I'm talking about this from a spiritual experience that you may have and how you can use the Bible as a spiritual book. Not something trying to place it as a historical book. So, and I was trying to say, this is my second video. I may, uh, I usually, my second videos is better than my first one. And I just replace it because I do a lot of just random, random talk. So, so basically, Jacebel is the woman who, who is seen as the bad person. And she's seen as this thing where you get a lot of religions trying to throw upon women who don't listen, who this and that and this and that. Okay? And that's not the case. It really is, like I said, a spiritual book. So if you see someone who's doing, who doing bad, who, who, who's not, who's rebellious, who, who don't want to listen, this and that. That's something within themselves they have to tend to. And people equate that with the Jasper spirit. Like I said, there's no such thing as good and evil. It's all just energy. And you have to learn from this energy. So if someone have a Jasper spirit, tell them, hey, you got to look at you have to um to fight it off. There's no need to exorcism and all this junk people trying to do. All you need is love. Uh love to fight off something from a lower nature that's not meant to be um who you want to be love equates those lower natures and also what brings you down is hate so love can be love can be hate and hate can be love just like it's is is you know duality or it's just another thing is like I said, evil and evil and turn evil around is life or live. You know, you have to live through evil to get life. 
and or you have to live through evil to become that of your worst enemy so and uh this is what jasbel or Lilith Lilith represents no 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 wait this is what Jasbel represents. Lilith is just the woman who wants to be on her more spiritual path, who don't want to succumb to the world religions, who don't want to be that submissive woman under some man who wants to kill her spirituality. But Lilith uh Jasbel is just the woman who's rebellious on a on a path on a different type of path, you know, who 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 is not who basically basically just just the nature of things that you can look at and say, hey, you know, don't go that path. That's the path that will lead you down. And you're trying to you want to look yourself up, but you have to embrace that because if you don't embrace your lower nature, you cannot find your light. So. So what does this mean? On its, uh, like I said, if you look at the story of Lilith, she got thrown out the window and blood came out on on the walls and horses. You know, blood represents red. Red represents a a, a color such as you no know, danger. Stop, danger. You're gonna get. It, it means that something's about to happen. So when you see red, that means you need to stop. And recognize what's around you. Look around. Look around you. Then understand. It's about to be a change. About to occur. That's why Jesus said. Or Yeshua was saying. You got to get me born. You got to be reborn. Back out of, out of the mother's womb. When you come out the mother's womb. There's blood. There's red. You cover it up with red. So Lilith fell. And there was blood splattered. She got covered up with red. She fell out the window. She got. She was ordered to be thrown out the window. They threw love out the window. Blood splattered on the walls and on the horses. The horses represents the spirits, animalistic natures. You have to control these natures of of these animals in you. That's the, and there's always some type of animal or whatever, or there's a woman involved in the Bible where it, where this is this means there's wisdom to be taught and wisdom to be learned. Even if the woman is seen as evil, there's wisdom that still is is about to be taught. Where Lilith, uh, I'm sorry, Jasbel is that wisdom that is meant to be taught. Where if you dig down deep into your darker nature of yourself and, and cause mayhem, then you know you're basically is going to be thrown down into your to your demise. You're basically going to your demise. And she was thrown off, blood splattered on the walls and whatnot. But then there's dogs came and ate her body. Then when Jahu ordered to bury the body, there was nothing but a head, arms and feet. And that's like, okay, if you're trying to take this as a literal sense, you'd be like, what type of dogs were those? You know, you're like, what? But people are trying, really trying to take it as literal. Like, hey, that's why you're going to be eaten by dogs and all that. I'm like, no, no, no. What that means is, if you look, if you interpret it, what dogs, what that means from a dream interpretation, all that means is something unbalanced within your life, unbalanced within yourself, uh, and, and outside forces may make you unbalanced, or you yourself are, are making you unbalanced. These are dream interpretations of dogs biting you. And for her to have her head shown, that means the death of her ego. Uh, death of your ego needs to be happened so you can change. And the great Kali, the mother Kali, the dark mother, she holds the head of her people, of whoever calls upon her. She holds your head, meaning, hey, you need to kill your ego. I can help you with that. I can chop your head off. Not trying to kill you, but trying to severe you from your body so you can say, hey, my, now, the flesh doesn't profit anything. The Bible even say that. The, the flesh don't profit nothing. It's the soul. Great Khali, cut your head off. You have, okay. You agree. 
you saying that hey this body don't mean nothing to me so she takes your head and then your arms represents what represents uh, let's see here your arms relates to you working so what what kind of what kind of work are you doing is your work helping bring people up higher or lower so but if you're still into your ego whatever you're doing with your hands is is not helping you at all like the bible said what paul said he rather your he rather have both hands cut off so he can make it to the kingdom the kingdoms up here he recognized the flesh works against the spirit so great Kali cuts your head and your arms off so you can so your flesh can't work against your spirit <laughs> so so what so Jezebel represents the same thing she fell she splat blood kills her ego uh, washes herself uh, she got reborn through that process if you're if you're the person with that Jasper spirit you have to basically do the same thing you have to kill your ego be reborn through love kills it love kills it and then have the dogs represent spirit the the spirits that are meant to help the process of you killing the flesh so you can become a better person. They will devour your flesh, the ego, so you can lift yourself up and they will leave the head behind. They will leave your arms behind. They will leave your feet behind because your feet with your ego carries you where, you know, it leads you to the wrong places. So all this is meant to be a spiritual thing. You know, you're looking at Jezebel as a real woman. It's a white woman and whatnot. <laughs> it don't matter what color she is. She could be blue, purple, brown, pink. Per you know, it's a spiritual thing. We're looking at spiritual aspects of these stories, not a actual person. So look into the whole dream interpretation of dogs. Your dog eat biting your leg represents you falling off of balance. You need your legs to keep your balance. Your legs is your balance. Your shoulders are your support. So if a dog bite your shoulders, what? You overwhelmed with responsibility. You got a burden on your shoulder. And you know, if you got burdens on you, that bring you down to your lower that's that's bring you down. You gotta release your burdens. You gotta cut ties, cut these people off to unleash your burdens you know you, and you must and you don't have to be having that jazz bell spirit but someone else can and they can be bringing you down okay but like I said embrace that because you're gonna learn something about yourself you'll be like oh you're gonna be like oh thank you jazz bell you just taught me something about myself that person I did not need around me so I had to cut them off now I feel ten times lighter. What that means, your your boat rolls up. No, that Noah boat inside you, your ark rolls up. You ten times lighter. You become you became enlightened by the experience. Every experience you become enlightened by. But you have to think these lower. You have to think all uh, spirits that take you through these journeys. So so Jazz Bell being thrown off the high. On the just like Satan, you know, Lucifer, all these people being thrown off the mountain, all like all these angels, these spirits being thrown off their high mountain, you being thrown off your high mountain, falling down, and you trying to be rise back up. Same deal. Same deal. All this is the same. Same. Just a different story, different different way to write it. But it's all talking about your spirit, baby. It's talking about your spirit. Being risen. Being reborn. Blood. Red. Being born, reborn like a baby. Coming out the womb. Coming out the water. 
That's why Jesus got read on. That's why Mary Madeline got read on. That's why Virgin Mother Mary got read on. That's why look up anything. They got read on. I think even Moses got read on. He got read on and who else got read on me? I think Adam held read on too. All these people got read. Why? It's because red symbolizes death and rebirth. Something, a lesson that's about to be changed. Your red chakra is what? I'm about to look that up. So, I believe. I believe. If I'm correct, what you need. Yep, that's what I thought it was. Your red chakra is your root chakra. The very bottom portion. You're grounded on this earth to learn a lesson. Every time you see red, you're about to learn a lesson. That's why you saw blood on the walls of the Israelites in Egypt. They were about to learn a lesson. You know, every time you put blood on your altar, you're about to learn. You're about to learn a lesson because you're asking for advice through the spirits so they can talk to you. You're being grounded. You're grounding yourself. You're merging yourself. Blood merges. Blood is a highly potent energy. That's why you drink the blood. That's why I said. That's why they said, "Don't drink the blood of an animal," because then you're merging yourself with the animal when you drink the blood of it. They live. They live inside of you for a good while. The animal. The animal get to experience how it feels like to be a human. That spirit. Those animal spirits, you know. That's why you know sometimes when you when you have your own farm animals they 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 when you eat them they live inside of you the other animals they can tell uh, that that spirit is in you so you know when you eat the animal you eat the spirit eat they the spirit takes form and then that's why they say don't eat animals who who died in fear because you take on their that that fear from the animal. Yeah, so that's what that is. That's what this whole thing video is about. Jazabel, Jazabel, learning from Jazabel and to embrace her, to embrace it, to embrace your lesson. The red, the red is your root to bring you up. So there's nothing wrong with the Jazabel spirit once you recognize it, but you have to recognize it so then you can like okay, this this is something meant for me to learn about either myself or that person so they can so I can say hey something's up with you let them recognize something about themselves so they can change themselves uh, out of love because only love can beat only love can beat the lower natures spirits in you you have to do this through love through heart chakra gateway to open your new <clears throat> Gateway to open your new path. All right, cool, 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 cool. So, this is my video for the Jasabel spirit and Lilith, in a way, a little, a little bit of Lilith. All right. So, peace, of love, everybody. Kachi Ra. Coming at you with another breath of life, of wisdom. I will see you soon. All right. Peace, of love.